Hey everyone, what's happening? If you're new to the channel, please take a second to hit the subscribe button and enjoy the video. Hey everyone, what's happening? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. So this is going to be a follow-up video to the 33 inch tires I installed a little while ago here on the Jeep without a lift kit and without spacers and on the stock rims with stock back spacing. So far I have 3,000 miles on this setup and I'm still running no spacers, no leveling kit just on the factory wheels and it's been working great and it's the holiday weekend here Memorial Day and we just arrived out at our off-grid property so we're going to be doing some off-road testing here today as well as well as I'll be filming another trip video so if you're into that kind of thing make sure you subscribe because that video will be following as well. But again, these were the Nitto Exo Grapplers in the 285-70-17 size, which is 33s. And they've been working out real great. Um, the tires are 10-ply E-rating, so they are a lot heavier than the 4-ply as I said in the first initial video and so far over the 3,000 miles of using them I've noticed that the fuel mileage on average has dropped around 1 to 1.2 miles per gallon on the in-dash monitor so I was expecting probably a little worse than that due to their bigger size and the much heavier tires. These are probably over twice as heavy per tire as the four plies. I mean the four plies, the sidewalls were just mush. I mean when they dismounted them tires it was amazing. I could just take the top of the tire and just crush it like a pancake the whole way to the ground where as these ten plies you would never ever be able to do that. As far as the ride the tire itself is stiffer and it makes the suspension do the work which I feel is almost better and it eliminates that washy mushy sidewall feel and ride that you have on the normal four ply so all in all I like them much better than the uh, four plies the stock tires um, and like I said, it just makes the suspension do the work instead of having such mushy tires, which without air in them, it was just amazing that they hold up as well as they do being four-ply off-road because the tires themselves without air are just extremely weak. But we just hit the off-road trail here, and we have about five to six miles to our camp. And I'll do some videoing of the way in and show you how these tires perform. And it'll probably be some of the most flexing I've done yet with the new tires. But as you can see here, I know nothing shows up on camera as steep or the actual terrain. But it's going to be some... Very steep and rocky terrain that we'll be traveling for the next six mile.
All right, guys, so we're about halfway up through here by now, and I'm sure you've seen some of that footage there. But here's a good spot where you can flex on the way up, and I'm really amazed. The tires fit in the wheel well perfectly, and the three miles so far up through here, which is probably some of the steepest of this trail, it hasn't rubbed anywhere, not even on the uh, fender flares. So I'll walk around here and show you. And you can see the uh, driver's side rear tire there is droop pretty low. I just crawl up through here and four low. I keep the sway bar connected. You guys you don't do that much off road, but as you can see here, Suspension on this driver's side is drooped probably as low as it'll go with stock suspension. And then coming around to the passenger side tire here, it is tucked way up in there. But as you can see, there's Still a lot of clearance, and I thought you'd probably hit here at the edge of the flare, but like I was saying in that previous video, the only way to avoid that is not run spacers or get aftermarket rims with different backspacing, because as soon as you bring that tire out, you're going to be into this fender here if you keep your stock fenders real quick, but if you stay with the uh, factory rims and do not run spacers, a 33 will tuck back in behind there with three fingers of space at full compression on the suspension. I mean, the tire, you're, you're up in, oh, probably three inches. I mean, you can see the side lugs here. And you can see how much space is out to the edge there. So, the tire's tucked up behind there a good two and a half to three inches. And absolutely nothing comes close to rubbing. Now, like I said, if you take your sway bars loose and even let your suspension travel more, you may. But for a stock setup, it's impressive just how capable they are. But I'm going to continue up the trail here and get to camp. And like I said, stay tuned or subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to see the off-grid shelter and camping style trips and if you haven't already you can go back in the uh, playlist and watch the build for that and some of the trips from last year but it's Memorial Day weekend here so we have a long weekend no work on Monday and we're just rolling in here Saturday just after noon time but I'm going to keep heading up through, and I'll catch up with you towards the top.
All right, guys, so we made it up here to the top. And hopefully that answered some of your questions. And gave you a few more details on how these tires perform and how they fit with no lift kit and with no spacers. Like I said, for a stock height Jeep, I think it's the absolute perfect size combination to run. And like I said, unless you're disconnecting your sway bars, even at suspension full compression, you're still not going to be rubbing anywhere. And the only slight rub, even on pavement that you get, is on the uh, front sway bar, like I showed in the initial tire video. And it's so minor, I mean, here's after 3,000 miles, it's just, you can barely even tell here that it rubs. But other than that, they're great and a whole lot better than those stock wimpy Goodyear Wranglers that are basically street tread and only four ply, which aren't going to take the abuse of the trails. But thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, you can leave them down below. Like I said previously, if you're new here to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. There will be many more videos coming of a bunch of different things. Cruises, the Jeep here that we just got not long ago, so there will be more off-road videos. And like I mentioned before, off-grid camping videos. Um, and if you haven't seen some of those... Like I said, check out that playlist. There's a whole bunch. But it's real remote property out here. Clear at the top of the mountain. And very secluded. But until then, have a safe and happy Memorial Day. And we'll catch up with you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to keep these videos coming. You can also follow me on Facebook. The link is in the description below.